Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be getting you all caught up on what we know so far about the Diablo 2 remaster, which is being called Diablo 2 Resurrected. So I will do my best to get you some context on everything we know so far. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, for those of you that have not seen the trailer or you're just curious and want to see it again, I will play it. It's very short. It's like a minute and a half or two minutes. But down below, I do have timestamps if you want to skip around and skip this or something. But it's very short, so let me go ahead and play that right now. So at least you can see it. Uh, since it is short, we might as well just uh, just go ahead and play it. Makes you feel old. I remember 20 years ago when Diablo 2 came out. <laughs> Though this be our darkest hour, it may yet be your greatest moment. Cross-platform, cross-progression, that's definitely amazing. So that is the official trailer announcing that officially. Now we've had some leaks come out where it was pretty rumored for a while now that there is going to be a Diablo 2 remaster, but we did not get official and guaranteed public word from Blizzard that it is on the way until BlizzCon line recently. And I'll go ahead and play some of the uh, background footage of, of some of the stuff we've seen from the remastered version while we're talking about things here. But yeah, so Blizzard has done some remasters for some other games like StarCraft, WarCraft 3, and I've played most or all of them. And they've been pretty underwhelming, to be honest with you. I do expect the Diablo 2 remaster to be by far the most popular and by far the best uh, based off of what I've seen right now. And, and we'll talk about some of those reasons why. So first of all, when you dive into a project like this, it's going to be really hard to make something fresh enough to bring new players and really advertise your old game to a newer audience, a newer, younger audience that maybe wasn't around and doesn't even know what Diablo 2 was. You've got teenagers now that are like Diablo 2. I've never played that before. So it needs to be fresh enough and new enough to capture players like that while also not alienating the gamers that are hardcore Diablo fans and really want to play an experience that is just like Diablo 2 because obviously that's what they enjoy. And I think Blizzard did a great job in this instance because the old Diablo 2 game is literally going to be running. That's what you're going to be playing. And then it's just going to be reskinned by this 3D model on top of it. And you can actually switch between the new graphics and the old graphics at leisure while you are playing. That is super cool. You can go ahead and toggle over, see the difference, toggle back. And that's how you're going to be able to keep the Diablo 2 feel while remastering it, making it look a lot better and bringing some small changes to the game like quality of life and different things to help modernize the Diablo 2 experience. And then we get into the fact that Diablo 2 Resurrected is going to be cross-platform with shared progression. That is absolutely amazing. And that is the future of RPG gaming, in my opinion. So we see a game like Rage Shadow Legends, where the majority of my subscribers come from on this channel. And that's, a, that's an example of a game with the foresight to see where this is going. And you need to be able to get 
all of your users, the PC gamers, the console gamers, the mobile devices, get them into one community playing the same thing with shared progression. So when I'm at home and I'm you know, maybe working, I'm on my computer, I can have Raid open and be progressing my account. Then when I'm gone on vacation, I can pull up my phone at night and I can play some Raid Shadow Legends and progress the same account. That is the future of gaming and it's a good thing that Blizzard recognized that and they're gonna be able to integrate the game to be played on console, PC, and share your progression with that same character on that same account. And they did also let us know that they will be having support for controllers. So if you're on a PC, you wanna kick back and play with a controller and not have to use your mouse and keyboard, they did say that there will be support for that. And then they had a nod to the old school, hardcore Diablo 2 players. They are still going to leave that old version of Diablo 2 out there. You're not gonna be forced to update to the remastered version. They are still gonna be supporting that old Diablo 2, the normal game. So if you don't wanna switch to the remaster, if you just wanna keep doing your thing, you're a purist and you don't wanna change, you want your Diablo 2 the way it is and the way it's always been, that will still be there for you. Then they will also be adding a few little small quality of life changes. The most notable ones that I heard them talk about was the shared stash. That's obviously incredible and something desperately needed in RPG games. We see it in games like PoE, where you can have a guild stash and share things amongst each other. Definitely needed because uh, a lot of us old school RPG players know about a term called mules or muling. And that is where you create just trash characters that you're never gonna play. They're like level one or whatever. And you basically just use them as the stash. You use their inventory to store items. And then you go and you log into a game that your friend is holding. You drop items on the ground. Then you go get your main character, log in, pick up those items on the ground that your friend sat there and held the game open so you could transition items from, a, from character to a character, account to account. So uh, let's just go ahead and remove the middleman and remove the tedious tasking of that. And let's just make a shared stash already. It's 2021. We need quality of life features like that to keep players captivated and keep them active in your game. So a great job on them adding that feature to the remastered resurrected version of Diablo 2. And then they touched on adding an auto gold pickup feature, which I think is great, but there are some purists that do not want that feature. So what they're gonna be doing, and I think more game developers should do this more often, is they're just gonna let the player choose. Do you want it? Okay, great, turn it on. Do you not like it? Okay, great, turn it off. And that is something that game developers do not do enough of, in my opinion. They just try to make changes based off of what the majority want. Why not just take a little bit of extra time to code it into the game to give players a choice and decide what they want? They can pull up the options menu and customize the game to the experience that they want. So good job, Blizzard. That's another thing they got right. Just give players the option to enable some of these features in the game in terms of they like it or not. And then in anything like this, when something new is hitting the scene, there are always three big questions. And that is, how much is it gonna cost? When will it be released? And how do I participate in an alpha or beta or whatever it is as soon as possible? So I'm gonna touch on these three things for you right now. So first, let's go ahead and talk about how much it is going to cost. The cheapest price point is going to be 40 US dollars. Then after that, I believe they have versions at 50 and 60 US dollars that will have extra slough things like collector items. And in my opinion, that is a pretty steep price if I'm being honest with you. It is definitely their most expensive remaster. I think StarCraft was $15. And I wanna say Warcraft 3 was $30. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is their most expensive remaster. And that is a little bit unfortunate, but I do know that they are going to be completely redoing all of the cinematics for Diablo 2 and the expansion, which is extremely expensive. So that is probably a large reason as to why the price is that, is because Diablo 2, there's a lot of lore involved in the Diablo universe. People really like the lore and the story behind the, the Nephilim and the angels and the demons. So I, I think they've, I think Blizzard really wanted to make sure that they got updated cinematics to go along with this release. And it's, I, it's almost 28 minutes of cinematics in total. To completely redo them in an updated HD version is gonna be extremely expensive in terms of production costs. So I, I would guess that's a big reason why this one is gonna be uh, at a pretty high price point of $40. But I do wish it was around that 25, 30 mark. And then in terms of when will it be released, 
all they're telling us right now is it'll be released in 2021. So before December 31st, 2021 is when it's going to come out. It'd be kind of funny if they did release it on New Year's Eve or something. But um, I do anticipate that it'll be later in 2021. I don't think this is like a coming soon type thing because we haven't even seen the like technical alpha opt-in phase or anything. So it's still going to be a ways away. I'm going to guess it comes out somewhere in November or December, somewhere in between Thanksgiving or Christmas for Americans in the end of the year of 2021 is going to be my guess as of what we know right now of when it will actually hit public release. And then for how do you participate, I can go ahead and put this away and show you. Uh, if you go to Diablo2.com, it will bring you to this page where you can log into your Blizzard account or create a Blizzard account. And then you have your options here to opt in on this website. You can't put in D2.com. It's got to be Diablo2. Com. So the word Diablo and then the digit 2.com will bring you to this page right here that you see for the tech alpha opt-in. And I will definitely apply for the technical alpha opt-in, hopefully get approved. And if I do, I will do everything I can to keep you up to date on what I like, what I don't like, and play it as soon as possible. So that's going to do it for what I wanted to talk about in this one. And I'm excited. I, I'm a big Diablo fan. And uh, Blizzard has really not been getting their remastered efforts right. They've been kind of messing them up. Uh, they, they've been very negatively received. So far, what we've seen, this is being very positively received from the community, but it hasn't launched yet. So we'll have to kind of take that with a grain of salt. I hope they get this right. Blizzard really needs to get one of these remasters right to restore faith in the gaming community in terms of trusting Blizzard and what they're going to be releasing. It was a big BlizzCon line for Diablo. I'm going to get you more updates on Diablo 4 and Diablo Immortal, but I think the biggest thing to cover and the thing that we got the most kind of light shed on was the Diablo 2 resurrected announcement. So that's what I wanted to cover first. And then I'll do my best to do some digging on some Diablo 4 and some Diablo Immortal stuff. I know lots of you are mobile gamers because of Rage Shadow Legends on my channel and uh, Diablo Immortal is going to be the mobile version uh, of the Diablo universe and it's going to be the first time Blizzard is diving in to the mobile market with a Diablo game. So I will definitely do some digging and get you as much information as I can. But as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.